And also today is November 23rd. And this is my book. Now, do you know, so you're asking why these two are there. I'll talk about this later, but first we'll talk about this. Like, you know, in a rainy day, a hovercraft technically might go for like a small, or a boat. Okay? So I'm thinking like, why this is there? So, and why are these there too? This is there if, so this is the back, so. This is there, so this is also there for the same reason as the back. Just, just in case it just stops and some model comes over here and it has to ramp down. So, yeah. What goes on rainy days? The rain will drop, so without this can cause a flood. Do you know why? You're asking no. Okay. So, when it goes down, so when the rain falls down, not up, right? Yes. Definitely down. So, once the rain goes down, it can land on this. Now I can cause these little drops of little drops falling from someone falling there, and then you know when 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 a huge amount of wood is in like let's say this is a big thingy, and then this is on water, and it'll it will make it it will make these it it will make it flood differently. So when the wood is in the back, it'll just make it like. So like this is like that, and it's in the middle. It'll go like that, and then it'll sink vertically. So the top is vertically like that, and then the bottom is just gonna, and the item is just gonna fall down to the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be kind of messy, right? Very messy. I'm yeah. Sorry to, I'm sorry about that, but anyways. So once it goes down. More and more rain will fall down, and that'll be like the item. So that, but it's just gonna float and put it back into the sea, right? Mm -hmm. See what? Because it's like a cycle. Once it sinks, and just and the rain will. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna do that. Excuse me. And then, um, when the rain comes up, and then and then the cloud gets it, and then it sinks again and stuff. So it'll be like this, but 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 we're like with some items sinking. So when the water piles up, there's gonna be no water here, which has less weight. So this is gonna balance on water. So so in episode two, I'm gonna put this in real water, which is gonna be over there in the washroom where I took a bath last time, mm -hmm. like yesterday. All right. So so okay. Um, this. Is what it's gonna look like. So once the water goes, this is a small experiment here. So once the water goes here, it'll just go in these holes. It'll go through this hole. But I was worried that it might do a small damage. But it looks like this is actually blocking the way. But if I just lift that up, see, it's actually letting the water go through and not letting it go here but going in front like this and then it end up, ends up going here and this just traps the water for some extra space and it keeps going goes up this thing thingy and then it goes through this little hole over here and then goes through the other hole see and then it goes all the way to this part and then it goes all around the obstacles but this, like if it's a very stormy day, this is just to stop it from going here, just in case it's powerful enough to actually tear this thing apart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this, this is just to make sure when the water piles up like that, so one so this so what happens can cause a huge flood, right? Yes. So then it so it's to force the water to ramp down instead of making it so it'll go in this little space and then it'll go here. So Lots of times it will cause a flood because lots of water is lots of weight, right? That's correct, sir. Yeah, you know that. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade this part to make sure that, like, it might, it will penetrate through this little thingy. So I'm just going to say, I want to. Try to just stuff it there. Mm -hmm. And 
again, just keeping it like that. Actually, no. Excuse me. Okay, anyways. I'm going to put this over here.